It's a permanent black eye for the Florida State Fair. Hundreds of teens rushing the midway, causing all kinds of problems. On the same night, a teen was killed trying to leave the event. In the four years since, the fair has boosted its safety and security, and tomorrow they're hoping for a much smoother student night. Still, parents of that teen who was killed say the fair isn't as safe as it could be. Today's reporter Eric Glasser shows you what's being done and what's not. Each year, the Florida State Fair brings thousands of people happiness, but it's an anniversary that will forever bring Andrew Joseph Jr. pain. And this is a four-year wound that will never heal unless we get proper attention, unless we get proper service. On student day 2014, several teenagers got out of hand. Deputies rounded up 99 kids and ordered them to leave the fairgrounds, in several cases without even calling their parents. The Joseph's 14-year-old son, caught up in the mayhem, was kicked out. Minutes later, struck and killed by a vehicle as he tried to run across nearby I-4. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. Who goes to the fair and dies? Since then, each year, the Josephs have set aside their personal pain to honor their son's memory by working to improve safety for all kids attending the fair. And I don't want anybody to have to walk in these same footsteps. It appears to be working. Policies have changed, requiring adult supervision after 6 p.m. If juveniles are removed from the property, they're held, not released, and parents are notified. There are now hundreds of cameras, monitors, better lighting, a wider midway, and elevated platforms that give deputies and school resource officers a better view of what's going on. My 14-year-old will be here tomorrow, and I'm confident he'll be here having a safe and good time as well. Hillsborough Sheriff Chad Cronister says the effort has paid off. Eject and arrests down sharply last year on student day. When you, when you experience something like 40% reduction, we know it's working. The Josephs say that doesn't mean more shouldn't be done. They'd like to see required adult supervision all day long, not just after 6 p.m. And although the fairgrounds sit on state property, they think it should be a gun-free zone on student day. The Josephs are holding a demonstration and vigil outside the fairgrounds along Highway 301, 5 p.m. tomorrow. They acknowledge improvements have been made, but they're calling upon parents not to send their kids to student day at the fair this year or any year until, in their words, they've got it 100% right. In Tampa, Eric Lasser, 10 News. The Josephs are also planning a memorial service and fundraiser this weekend for a foundation in their son's name. The money raised helps other families who have also lost their children too soon.